Hello, this is Kev here from LifeSuccessEngineer.com and in this video I'm going to share with you five hard truths why people fail at their online business. Now these are supposed to be hard, these are supposed to be hard to listen to, so if it brings up some emotion for you, if it brings up some self-reflection to you and you think to yourself, wow, some of these things apply to me, don't take it personal. Really use this as an opportunity to think to yourself, I need to change, I need to not fall into these traps. Because I think each and every one of us can fall into these traps. So that's why I wanted to create the video to be hard to listen to, to be self-reflection for me and you, to take massive action and be successful long term. So the first thing, the first thing why people fail at their online business is false expectation. They think that the result, the experience, whatever they're after, the reasons why they started that business, it should have happened yesterday. Why does it not happen within a month? Why is it not happening in, within six months? Because when you're gonna be, if you're gonna be successful, when you're gonna be successful, you need to think to yourself, it's gonna take me one year, two years, five years. Because the truth is, if to build a long-term sustainable business, it's gonna take time. To build a long-term sustainable business where you can extract yourself, where you can make a business out of this, not just another job out of this, it's gonna take you some time. You're gonna have many stumbling blocks. You may learn lots and lots of things about you, the business model that you weren't expecting. So within, a first, within the first couple of weeks, you, you may well fail. You, you, the, like, the chances are you're gonna fail. You're gonna do something wrong. You, you're not gonna know what you're doing. You're gonna feel like you're confused, overwhelmed maybe. But the truth is that's a part of the process. So don't have this false expectation that everything's gonna go well. Don't have this false expectation that you're gonna be like super successful within a month because that only happens to very, very few select people. The very rare majority, um, the minority that that actually happens to, okay? So please, if you're gonna be starting any business, get into it for six months. Do everything you possibly can. Take massive action for six months. Go through the challenges, the overwhelm, the disorganization. Go through everything, the practical, the, the nuts and bolts to everything and soak it all in. Enjoy that process, but don't have that false expectation. This leads into two, the second hard truth. It's the shiny object syndrome. But the truth is, when people have this false expectation, the online marketers that you may have been listening to, those people that are sending you emails, they are doing a fantastic job on really enticing you to look at another opportunity. When things get tough, our brain is wired to think of something easier. Why not go to this other opportunity? This opportunity here, I've been doing now my business for six months and I'm not getting the result that I want. Why not jump at this opportunity? Because I'm gonna get the result within one month. But that is that is exactly why people go into the shiny object syndrome and they've started one business model, then they've gone onto another business model, then they've started another business model, and after a year or two, they're not getting the success. And because they've jumped ship, over over and over and over again because the online marketers out there they've got so good at triggering what you want they've got so good at understanding you what you're trying to do they're pulling at your strings and that's why that shiny object syndrome is so so it's so fatally like you don't want to do everything you possibly can to avoid that whether it's unsubscribing from YouTube channels email lists do whatever you've got to do to be solely committed to that one objective, that one business model that you're in. The third one, and this is very, very important as well, it is comparing yourself to others. Comparing yourself to others. Don't, whatever you do, do not compare yourself to others. If you've started a business model and you're in the business model for six months and then somebody else has only just started and they've already surpassed you, Whatever you do, do not let that discourage you. Do not compare yourself to that person because each and every one of us, we all have different backgrounds. We all have different skill sets. We're all different in many, many ways. We're all unique, which means that person may well have had success in the past. That person may well have 
have started and been really successful at their previous business, they've learnt so many challenges, so many failures, they've come into this business, whatever this business model is, and they're super successful straight away because they've brought them their, all their past experiences with them and they've avoided so much that you're stumbling through right now. So do not compare yourself to others. Run your own race, really believe in the process, in your own process, whatever you do. like. Be inspired by those people. Don't let that be a negative impact. Don't let it be a negative emotion that gets you pulled down and, and stops you being motivated because that's not, the, that's not the goal here. Number four, becoming a slave to your business. Now think about this. You've now started your business. You've been doing your business for three to six months to nine months to 12 months. You're a year in your business. You're having, you're getting some success. You're getting some success, but you've now hit a bottleneck and you are now the slave to your business. You are running around in your business. You're having to do everything in your business. You're not growing in your business, which is making you feel like you don't want to get up the next day to work in your business because you know you're going to have a load more emails fired at you. You're going to have loads more things to do. You're feeling overwhelmed. You're maybe not sourcing those products. You're maybe not writing those emails. You're maybe not reaching out and finding new customers because it all depends on you. You've become a slave to your business. And that's not what you want. You want to continually see, remind yourself why it's exciting to be in your business, why it's exciting for you to, to build this business. And in turn, what's going happen is, is you should then want to grow and uh, attract people into your business and build your team and allow other team members to grow and have their their growth within your organization, in, within your company, with you basically outsourcing and automating using employees or virtual assistants and that's going to allow you then to work on your business not in your business and not be the slave because nobody wants to be you want to have a day off when you want to have a day off you want to have a lie-in when you want to have a lie-in you don't want to be a failing in your business or something breaks down in your business just because you want to spend some time with your family or your friends so don't become a slave to your business. Always think to yourself, how can I systematize your business? How can I grow my business and attract more and more people? The fifth and final thing that I wanna mention is you forget the reasons why you started. Everyone has reasons in their business when they first started. Whatever those reasons are, whether it's freedom, whether it's to get out of your job, whether it's to spend more time with your family, whether it's to travel the world, whether it's to never ever work on somebody else's terms ever again, whatever it is, you need to keep yourself reminded of those reasons. If you keep your eyes on the outcome, what you actually started, that's going to keep you motivated, it's going to keep you driven, it's going to keep you conditioned each and every day to be excited to do something else in your business that's gonna grow you to the next level. Because it's, it's those people that are excited and motivated and inspired after two years of their business, after three years of their business, after you know five and 10 years of their business, they're on this mission and you're so excited and those people are gonna keep pushing, they're gonna keep growing in their business and keep expanding and evolving and innovating in their business because they know what they're doing it for. They've still got those reasons. And if you are going through some hard challenges, if you are maybe not getting the results that you want, those false expectations, those may be the shiny objects and things and trying to attract you and bring you into other business models, always remember, no, I'm sticking with this business model because it's going to allow me to achieve the goals that I want. So that was five hard truths why people fail. Did any of them re resonate with you? Did any of them think, wow, this is me, maybe shiny objects, maybe I'm getting a maybe distracted in a different opportunity. Maybe I'm running around each and every day being a slave to my business. Did any of those sort of think about in your life? Let me know, comment in the description below. Please hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe. This is Kev here from lifesuccessengineer.com. Really, all I do is I'm, I'm inspired to take massive action, really inspire you to take massive action in your online business, grow the freedom that you want, really your personal development, setting goals, and failure is a part of the process. Failure is absolutely part of the process. It's who you become, the process, and that's what I'm all about. So if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. And until the very next time, keep taking massive action. Take care.